My name is Venancia Cruz Dominguez. I come from the indigenous movement of Santiago de Anaya in Hidalgo, Mexico. There are six municipalities whose environment is being contaminated by the company Cementos Fortaleza, whose owner is Carlos Slim, a huge magnet considered the richest and most powerful man in the world. Yet he came to rob our clean air, our tranquility, and to take away our water. The impact is being felt in the environment. Every morning we rise to see plants and outdoor furniture covered with a thin film. The crops of my neighbors are being impaired by this thin film that is produced by Cementos Fortalezas in Santiago de Enaya. My name is Isabel Valdivia Martinez, and I am a defender of the Amazon and a Peruvian. And sadly, I see that a North American, Dennis Nicholas Melka, with 20 companies, is deforesting all the Amazon, including virgin forests and secondary forests, to replace it with palm oil. Daily, they knock down a thousand hectares of virgin forest, affecting the biodiversity, the flora, the fauna, the water, all of that to exploit palm and to industrialize it for biodiesel. <laughs> My name is Atok Kurlakanki. How does climate change impact us? First of all, there is no rain anymore. The rivers have dried up because the miners use water, and that water is poisoned and the animals die. For us, the Andean or indigenous community, they have eliminated our economy, including agriculture, textiles, and cattle raising. All of these things they have taken from us. Effectively, they have cut off our arms, and we are practically like walking dead. My name is Poxy. In Aymara, it means moon. And I'm here to raise awareness, to say to all of humanity that we have to return to the heart of Mother Earth. We have to wake up. We have to unite. It's time to say enough. We have to return because the Aymara, we live together with the environment. We Aymara live together with the earth, and we're being impacted because right now the Aymara people are suffering from drought. And that's why I'm asking the great representatives of the world to wake up, that the change begins now, that the change begins in every corner of the earth. This is the message that we bring, the cosmic message to every corner of the earth from the wisdom of our ancestors.